My name is Samuel Lee. I received my PhD in astrophysics from Caltech, and I recently finished a postdoctoral fellowship at the Princeton Center for Theoretical Science, where I studied particle dark matter. Now, for my data incubator capstone project, I explored the New York City taxi data set, and I used it to develop optimal strategies for taxi drivers. We can use the historical New York City taxi data to play the game of picking up fares as we might play chess, so I decided to name my project Deep Yellow. The main results of my project are a predictive engine that suggests and simulates optimal strategies for drivers, as well as an interactive heat map that identifies locations and times where highly performing real-life drivers tend to make most of their pickups. However, before demoing these, let's first take a look at the data. This data set contains information from hundreds of millions of taxi rides, including GPS locations for every pickup and drop-off, and even fare and tip amounts. We can use the spatial information to map out areas of interest. However, the data also contains detailed temporal information, which reveals not only the heartbeat of the city, but also how taxi activity depends on sports and entertainment events. Now, we can combine this spatial and temporal information to make some neat animations, but we can also use it to perform a more serious predictive analysis. Just as Deep Blue learned from a huge database of chess games, we can learn from this database of taxi trips. In particular, the data tells us the probability of making trips and their corresponding payoffs as a function of location and time. This allows us to determine the space-time board on which the game of taxi pickups is played. It turns out that this game can be abstracted as a Markov decision process. Although the game is inherently random, as a driver, I do have some choices to make about which passengers I pick up and which areas I hunt for fares in. And it's the set of these deterministic choices that constitutes a strategy. Before looking for optimal strategies, we can study the data to see what strategies highly performing drivers use in real life. We train a linear support vector classifier to identify good and bad drivers, using pickup frequencies as a function of location and time as features. This allows us to construct time-dependent heat maps showing the areas frequented by good and bad drivers, shown here in red and blue, respectively. We can turn this result into an interactive map with a slider to select time of day, and some buttons to toggle certain options, such as the use of L1 norm regularization to perform feature extraction. For example, we can see that picking up fares near City Hall at the end of a workday seems to be a successful real-life strategy. Finally, we can use our predictive engine to visualize optimal strategies. That is, if I'm a driver that has somehow memorized the database of trips, I can perform much better than a typical real-life driver. This interface allows the driver to select a starting position. Then, using look-ahead trees to sample possible moves, the predictive engine suggests a move that is likely to lead to future profits. It also allows us to simulate an entire driver shift, assuming a strategy with the look-ahead tree of a certain depth or width. We see that if we select a deeper strategy, driver performance increases. This validates our overall method of finding optimal driver strategies using the historical taxi data. Now, if you're interested in learning more about my analysis, I encourage you to visit the Deep Yellow website, project blog, and GitHub. Thanks.